What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some uh, approach on how to handle authorization in your uh, HTTP handlers. Basically it works in every single framework, uh, I think we're going to use GoFiber, you could use Echo, you could use Gin, you could use whatever you want, it's actually all the same. Um, Take in mind, authorization is not the same as authentication, right? Authentication is where you're going to authenticate a user against your database. Is this user, um, exists this user, and um, does he provide the correct credentials? But authorization is basically, um, we have a user, he's authenticated, it's all fine, but has this user access to the current resource, to the current route? Can this user perform uh, some kind of an action in our system, right? That's what we're gonna do today. But before we continue, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and leave some questions in the comments. And of course, jump into the Discord community. And for the people that wanna learn more, wanna be um, a full-time GoDev, you can go to fulltimegodev.com. This is basically my program. Check it out, it's um, almost complete. It's in pre-order now, 30% off, check it out. Also, go to my Patreon page if you want to have more exclusive videos. All right, let's go. So basically, um, I have this uh, simple uh, project here. Uh, I already did a Go mod in it, and I installed Go Fiber. It's very simple. You just uh, copy paste uh, Go get stuff from the Go Fiber thing, paste it in, and everything is fine, right? So what we're gonna do first is um, let's see if we can make it. I never use Go Fiber, by the way. So um, I think we need to do something like. Um, What's going on here? Choking. App is going to be, um, I think it's fibers new. Something like that. And then we're gonna say that's fine. App declared not used. We're gonna say app get. Um, let's give it some routes slash post. And then we're gonna say handle uh, get post or something. Just like that. We don't have this. We're gonna say app listen. Give it a port. Uh, for example, 4,000, and that should be it. Maybe you could do a log fatal here, so we know what's going on. If it works, and then we're gonna say func handle get post, it's already here, it should be a C, which is going to be a pointer to a fiber CTX, and it will return an error, just like everything else, right? <coughs> and we're gonna return here, um, I think you could do JSON or something, just like that. What does it want? just data interface, it's perfectly fine. So we're gonna give this uh, a string, right? Uh, some posts here, right? Of course, this is not a real valid JSON stuff, but hey, it doesn't really matter. This is just for showing something on our screen, right? It is, it's not about the data, it's about the authorization we are going to check. Um, okay, cool, so I think we're fine. Can we do a go run main.go here? Yes, we can. Let me open up um, What's going on here? Boom, this thing here, let's zoom it in. I'm gonna show it to you in a moment. And let me know guys what you think about uh, the acoustics in the new place is not the best yet, because it's kinda empty. And already tested some stuff here. So we're gonna use uh, 4000, I guess. Okay, cannot get because it's not a good, the correct route. You're gonna say slash posts, boom. Cannot get, uh, post it is, boom. You can see, let me zoom in more for the blind homies. Look at this, some posts here, right? So basically somebody is doing a get request or a post request, it doesn't even matter, a delete, and he gets some access, it's all fine. <coughs> so what we're gonna do is, uh, first of all, let's kill this. Let's make a type user, right? User is gonna be a structure. We're gonna say it has a username. It's gonna be a string, and we're gonna give it a role. And in this case, it's gonna be a string. Your role could be some kind of an enum construct or something else, it doesn't really matter, just for the sake of this demonstration. Um, that's this, um, that's fine. So the next thing, you could do it in a couple ways, but the way I do it is the most simple way because I have won the Nobel Prize for simplification. You guys should already know that. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another function and we're gonna call, on, we're gonna call this only admin and that will take in a function, which is going to be, basically, can we do fiber handler? Uh, yeah, and it's also gonna return a fiber handler. This is something new, this is on the fly. So we could say return func c ctx, fiber ctx by the way, fiber context error, 
and we're gonna say return event c can we do that we can look at this so basically what we do is which is called a decorated pattern you're gonna decorate a function with another function right and you could do as much spot basically how middleware works right it's, it's no big of a deal look i have a new chair and it's so amazing oh my back is so happy <clears throat> so basically we have this only admin thingy here um, what we're gonna do is first of all we're gonna make a function and this function is going to mimic because like i said before the authentication is where you're gonna fetch your user from the database and you're gonna check if it exists right we're gonna mimic this function we're gonna say get user from db right have you gonna return a user here like this hop hop and then we're gonna say return a user and it's going to be a username we're gonna call this james yes and the role of james is going to be role hey 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 role uh it's going to be just a user simple user of course this is a, a script version of making roles you could make it as complex as you want you could use it like i said you could use an enum or another struct or something it doesn't really matter in this case it's just a plain string and uh, it's going to be a simple user right cool so we're going to say in our only admin here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say user we're going to say get user uh from db right and then we're going to say a very simple check right you're going to say if user role is not uh admin right just like this we're going to basically return What can we do here? Send status. Yes. Send status. HTTP status unauthorized. Please type in me unauthorized. That's what we're going to do. And so basically it's very simple. We're going to get the user from the database. We're going to check. We're going to authorize him. Is he an admin? Yes. Uh, no. Then we're going to return an authorized function, a uh, method, status. <laughs> and otherwise, we're just going to return the handler we are passing in here, right? We decorate it, okay? So how is it going to work? <coughs> For example, handle get post. Uh, it doesn't matter. We don't care about get post. Everybody can, can see get post. But we could do, let's copy this. You could say handle get post. Uh, For example, um, manage. I don't know. We want to manage some posts or something. I have no clue. We're going to say handle get post manage. Please manage, yeah? All right. So we're going to implement this function real quick. Let's do ZZ here. New trick I learned from a, a watcher, subscriber. It's amazing. Thank you for that. If you press ZZ, you're going to basically uh, center the screen. <laughs> it's amazing. 15 years. And now I, 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 I know it. We're going to say handle get post manage, right? And we going to... Return here. Okay, another scuffed JSON. We're gonna say some. No, we're gonna say the admin page. Ah, admin page of this post. Boom. In your case, it's gonna be something completely different, but this is just for showing you this. So um, yes. So basically, now we have two routes. We have the um, post handle get post. It's basically a public route, right? And this is going to be an admin route, okay? So there's nothing we need to do for public. It's gonna it's gonna work, but for post manage, we're gonna wrap this into our only admin decorator, right? We're gonna say only admin, and then we're gonna say handle get post manage, just like that, right? So if we run this, if we run this, it should work. Where is my um, whoop? So basically, slash post, it's all gonna be fine. But if we do post manage, we're going to say unauthorized, right? We have an unauthorized thingy. Why is that? Well, it's very simple. It's because uh, James is just a user, right? And uh, let's do, well, wait, Z is so, so scuffed. <laughs> so um, James is just a user. But if you say that James is an admin, like this, and then we go back here, the admin page of this post. You see, that's how you basically um can do a very simple way of of authorization in your handlers it's it's you don't need to overcomplicate it it's, it's so it's so simple right so basically what uh, if you want to because a lot of people say yeah but you can use groups right you could basically use uh, a group of things but um that's not that's not the best approach because if you use groups app.group for example you're basically going to group a prefixed uh, route 
right? And of course, you could have a subset of admin routes which you could group. That's that's perfectly fine. But for example, uh, like I said, this is more flexible. This only admin because you could cherry pick which routes are basically. Um, have access or not. And this is a very simple, right? This is only admin. For example, we could make another thing. Let's um, copy our only admin function here. Copy this. We're going to paste it in here. And we're going to say um, special users only. Only special users, right? So we're going to say if the user role is um, special. For example, hey, and you, you could you could make this logic. Uh, I don't need to go in depth in here, right? You could make this logic as as complex as you want. It could be uh, the role needs to be something, or maybe he needs to have some kind of a, uh, for example, points. Maybe you have some kind of a game or some kind of a ticketing system where he, um, no, not a ticketing. How do you say that? Like some kind of a affiliate marketing system where only users that have a certain status. Uh, can can access a, a resource or something, right? An, uh, an endpoint. So this is special, uh, which basically means that if we, um, for example, special posts, special like this, uh, only special users, and we're gonna say handle post special, uh, special, right? Boom, ZZ. Uh, let's what's going on here. CZ, hop, paste in, handle, get post, special. And then uh, the special page of this post, just like that. Let me see if everything is fine. It should be. Why is this not special here? I thought I did this. Special, kill this. <clears throat> Go to main.go. Where is, uh, man, so many windows. So this is fine. And if you go to special, it's probably not going to get any access, right? Unauthorized, why? Because um, James here is an admin, is not special, right? So we could say special, just like that. Uh, kill this, start this again. Right, now we have access. But you could, make, you could drive it as far as you want, right? You could say admin here, right? So if we do it again to show you, my microphone is in the way unauthorized but you could say yo uh, special if role is not special um, wait let me quickly think here if the role is not special we're gonna send this but we could do if user role is admin or something i'm just gonna do it scuffed way because i don't want to think too much we're basically gonna return actually to be honest um to return a van. Where's my C? It's C, it's fine. Um, wait, this is my special handler. If role is admin or uh, the user role is special, and you can see you could make a nice struct where uh, basically some kind of an, aut an authorization struct where you can encapsulate all this logic into a nice behavior, right? So you don't need to do this crazy uh, or thingies. Um, you could just call, for example, is authorized and, and dump in the user and it can do a lot of stuff for you. Um, this can be deleted. <clears throat> so basically this means this special user, if it's an admin, only always have access. Uh, and if the role is special, it also has access, right? So we're gonna say go run main go here real quick and this should work, right? You see, although he is not special, but he's an admin, so he has access to basically every tab, right? So that basically, uh, it to be honest, is very simple to do your authorization. Like I said, authentication is something completely different. Authorization is um, authorizing an already existing user uh, with, the, with the matched credentials, authorizing it if this user has access to some kind of certain resources. Yeah, that's authorization. Um, like I said, we can go very in depth in this, but this is the, this is a, um, give you a little push on how to do it. 
you can make it even better if you want. And we are going to, uh, like I said, in the full-time GoDev program, uh, I'm using some kind of the same approach, but of course more in depth. So if you wanna learn how to build APIs, if you wanna learn how to build microservices and all that stuff, check out fulltimegodev.com. Thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to see you in one of my next videos or live streams. Bye-bye.